where will the next great war come from? Religion. Ideology. Economics. Why oil changes miraculously into power. Power to run the giant plants that make the things we need and use. Power to speed our modern trains, ships, airplanes, and automobiles. Oil is a great industry. What about water? Water is essential to every living thing. All those need a continuous supply of water in order to live. Could something most of us take for granted and become the oil of the 21st century? Certainly, as a valuable resource, um, water could rival oil in terms of, it, of its value. Three-fourths of our planet is covered by water. The less than 3% of that is usable for human consumption. 98% of it is trapped in oceans or ice or inside rocks. What many think of as an unlimited resource does actually have limitations. It's naive to think that any resource is renewable, infinite, and will always be there. The Earth, for the most part, has a fixed amount of water, and with rising populations, is struggling to meet the demand. Already, two billion people have no access to clean water, and with the World Bank projecting a population increase from six to nine billion in less than 50 years, the access issues only multiply. Here we start to see water having the potential to influence economics in much the same way as oil does today. Uh, in a many poor countries, the, the cities simply don't have the capacity to meet the water needs of the residents in those urban areas. And so there are things like black markets develop for water. History is rife with water-related conflict. And as it becomes harder to access, more violent encounters seem inevitable. So what's the solution? People can start by getting used to the idea of conservation and educate themselves about water-related issues. We're sure to see water prices increase in the near future, or at the very least an increase in our taxes, which will all go towards new technologies and or facilities to better manage our resources. But really, it all comes down to us, and whether or not we accept the responsibility of protecting and conserving our most precious and vital substance on Earth.